Michelle Corona says, my female is 12 on PG level. What number would I do it, do it on? Well, you're about a day to half a day early. So we, we like on IDEX to be 15 to 20 on, on a fine care 17 to about 24. Uh, Sean Mack. She likes the con he likes the content. Says, as a new breeder of Frenchies, the Whelping series helped me tremendously preparing for my first litter. Also, I purchased all the recommended puppy supplies from the incubated heated whelping kits, a cup of puppy care products, including the new puppy. Well, look, you are an excellent person. We love you already. Um, There's a neighbors. When I put my puppy home to the vet, I compared it to cooking before microwaves. Uh, yeah, okay, well, let's just, um, well, someone just saying they're very happy. Well, good. Well, we're, I'm happy too. So we're all about, we're all about helping people and, uh, hey, if they buy our products, that's a plus for us too. It's a big plus. Laurie Harrison, what do you do about puppy acne on blue Frenches? I've seen it on a couple of blue Frenches it's in the second week. It's not just on week. blue Frenches, so it's on all So, on top of their heads, is that common? With a blue color, they are six weeks old, still battling it now, trying to coconut oil on it. Do you think they'll outgrow it? Tammy's up on this one. Hey, where's Tammy? Don't worry, Tammy. Yeah, it, it, it goes away. What it is is the mama's dog hairs are. are, are she, what age is she talking about? Six weeks now. Oh, they're six weeks. Hmm. They're just getting little faces dirty and like getting little puppy acne, and it goes away. They're still selling stuff. Yeah, but down, aren't they? So what's going on here is this is basically uh, folliculitis. What's happening is the hairs are getting a little infection in them, and that is then causing these bumps. And you know, we, Tammy, you're calling it puppy acne. What do you do? Well, like Tammy was alluding to, Get cle baths. cleanliness. Right. That that's the first thing. Is some cleanliness is is the right thing to do. That's the first thing. The second thing is maybe a medicated shampoo that can help quite a bit too. And the third thing is, if it doesn't go away, start thinking about getting some antibiotics on board. So this can develop into bumps over their whole body, not just their head. Uh, but it's not serious, but you do want to keep it under control. So not a big deal, but uh, if you're not getting away with it, medicate shampoo, and after that, antibiotics. Someone says, happy birthday, Will Bread says, thank you. Just rubbing it in, that good old 68, huh? Someone says, Jay R Ramirez says, uh, talking about the the uh, red eye glow and uh, talking about murals having an eye, red eye well, glow. Yeah, all murals have red eye glow. Well, that's the thing is that actually most murals have red eye glow, but not all. Oh, really? Yes. So somebody's it, asking here about... Every mural I've seen had a red eye glow. Well, almost all. Okay. So, I don't know if that's 99%. Either way, somebody's saying is, would an eye blow, uh, would a specific kind of eye blow indicate testable versus non-testable? No. Nope, 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 nope. No. Nope. You get a right red eye glow, it means that one of two things. It's a moral dog, or it's a, uh, a dog that has either two copies of CO, or two copies of little B, or both. A single copy of either one will not produce a red eye glow. Now, if you have a cream dog that tests as non-chocolate and has a red eye glow, it's probably moral. So Scott, I've watched dozens of your videos. I'm scheduled for a reverse progesterone test in the coming days. My girl is 59 from ovulation, 58 from first day eye. But her x-ray yesterday showed she's having a singleton pregnancy. I've been warned all of these warning signs may not even show themselves. How do I know for certain that if I don't do the C-section too soon or too late? Well, yeah, you're exactly right on this. So, so the problem here is, is with a singleton puppy, they tend to go long. Uh, they tend to be bigger puppies, which means that they can get stuck. And the reason that you had a singleton puppy is almost always because you AI'd too early. And remember, C-section date has got nothing to do with AI. It's all to do with ovulation. You bred late, you're tempted to take the puppies early because you think you're at a due date and you're not. So this is the danger. So what do you do? You watch for temperature drop, you watch for behavior, 
Uh, you can do a progesterone test to make sure that number's close to three. And the big thing to me in these situations is a dog that is past its due date and you're starting to see some reactions like nesting and panting that you haven't seen before. Those are indications that you're getting to be in the right place. Back that up with the progesterone test. But I've seen dogs that have had progesterone levels that are still around a seven and they are going into labor. So on singleton pups, it can be a bit confusing, but just pay attention to them. And let's see here. I think that's pretty much it for this one's here. Somebody's asking about French Bulldog University. This would be a really great idea to go forward. Hey, I'm about to announce uh, all of my stuff on a, a program called Teachable, where I've got videos that you can look at that are all new to do with all of this breeding stuff, but they're all organized by sections. It is, a, it is a, a paid service, but I will let you know on that very, very soon. And I mean, you know, in the next, within the next week, I've already got most of it in place. Um, someone's asking if you get overwhelmed with calls. Yes, I do. And that's part of the reason for doing this teachable series. But anyway, that, more information on that. What else, Tammy? Well, and I always wonder, when are you getting off of the computer? <laughs> what else? Just Is to... Cody's got some puppies for sale? I think he's down to two that's left. And oh, good. then we've got babies that are probably coming up in the next month and a half. Yes. Well, Thanks for watching the video. I hope you got some good information out of it. I hope you subscribe to our channel. Brought to you by mybreedersupply.com. We've been in business for over eight years. We manufacture products to help you have successful breedings, successful whelps, and successful puppies. We've introduced a new subscription service, canineconnect.com. It's a one-year subscription for 129 bucks. And for that, you get two-day free shipping on all, all of your orders. You get 5% off your every order that you place, and you get direct access to our support line to help you with products that you buy from us and general questions about breeding your dogs. It's really a great deal. I hope you subscribe to that. Now the disclaimer. Now, I'm not a licensed veterinarian. I'm not a professional health giver, but I am a guy that's been breeding dogs successfully for over 20 years. Any information you get from my videos is purely at your own risk. If you have any doubts about any of this stuff, you should definitely seek the help of a licensed professional. Again, thanks for watching. Have fun with your doggies. Bye, buddy.